Well, they have a timeout left, 46 seconds. Collins has passed for 180 yards on the afternoon. He needs to duck out of bounds, and he does at the 30-yard line. Michigan first down, but still 70 yards away. And, of course, they need only a field goal to take the lead. That one covered 14 yards. The clock stops at 38 seconds. Somehow you had a feeling it would come down to this. with a catch across midfield and down to the 47 yard line timeout to move the sticks with 31 seconds left 22 yard gain and now they're only 20 yards or so away from a field goal opportunity Todd Collins wants this opportunity his mental toughness his strongest asset Inside 30 seconds. They're wasting time. And the pressure, Collins finds his man, Smith. He's close to another first down. The ball will be spotted about the 33-yard line. That's a 50-yard field goal from where it is now. Toomer to the left. 14 seconds remaining. Michigan trails by one. The pressure let it go it's complete smith dives to the 25 yard line with seven seconds left what a play by unbelievable poise by todd collins he was absolutely in the grasp of burt berry still found his receiver still able to get the throw off and now it comes down to a kick what a great play. I mean, that is just sensational poise by that young man. Clever bit of receiving on the tail end. Bert Berry just comes clean. Absolutely comes clean. Ramers will hold. The field goal attempt could win the game. He's used it, and now it's up to that man, Brian Hamilton. Or Remy Hamilton, excuse me. Sophomore kicker. 42-yard attempt to win the game. That's Bobby Taylor. On its way. It's good. Hamilton, Remy Hamilton being mobbed as Paul as can only watch. There are two seconds left on the clock, but the Michigan students have flooded the field. The referees have flagged the Michigan crowd. I believe there's going to be a 15-yard penalty. We've seen stranger things happen. Of course, the great Stanford play from a few years ago, California game. Wow, I mean, this game has been won. You know that, uh, I mean, this game has been won by both teams. They went up and down the field. They each answered the pressure situations. And then Hamilton in the clutch. Nothing better than seeing young men, 19, 20, 21 years old, performing under this kind of pressure. You think Todd Collins didn't enjoy that one? He's the man responsible. Remember, the Wolverines were backed up. He took them downfield in field goal position in a hurry. Moeller has to like that result, and his team could have a giant win today. Reamer's mother holder had it set perfectly, and Remy Hamilton boots it through. Reminiscent of Jim O'Brien with the Colts. But you don't want to give him a chance for the alley-oop either. There's the kick, just ball out.
tremendous Notre Dame comeback led by Ron Paulus with Derek Mays making the clutch catch. And then Michigan came right back down to get a Remy Hamilton field goal to win it over Notre Dame 26-24 in the first home appearance of the celebrated Irish quarterback Ron Paulus. Pardon me while I stand and applaud with the rest of this crowd for the performance of these two teams. Two of the best in college football on display today, parrying back and forth with Michigan coming away.